selected in their red kit with grey trim. This is how they will be lining up. And they'll be playing with a 4-4-2. A lot of work in the transfer market. Hospital is coming in. Trinningham as well. Both Trinidad and Tobago Nationals. Oh, Wayne Gordon, who was the well, the Golden Boot winner back in 2016, the last time they won with 19 goals. He's full partner, Brian Brown, who is also a former Golden Boot winner as well. So an interesting lineup. They have the Brazilians in there as well. Correa and Ferreira, as well as their goalkeeper, William Ferreira, between the sticks. Yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of new players in there. Whether or not we'll see the fluidity as they would want is another matter. And at times you bring in new players, you just don't get the chemistry early enough. And they'd want to get that against Waterhouse tonight. Waterhouse go back with their 4-3-3 formation. Not much changes in the squad here, even though they're looking to do business in the transfer market. Nikoi Christian has to settle for a place on the bench. Andre Fletcher is there as well, of course, with six goals and in good form. As well as Javain Bryan, their player to watch. The point man as well with nine goals this season. Rivaldo Mitchell comes into the starting lineup. Always an exciting player in the wide areas. Uh, Kemai Foster, as usual, between the sticks and the ever present Shamari Dallas with his work rate in the flank area we expect him to be busy as well this Waterhouse team as we said Ex so the full match highlights Alexi Perry the man in charge of this fixture was promising to be an exciting one and it started that way Andre Fletcher with a delivery towards the near post but Simpson just couldn't get it on target that one was on target from Trimingham early and he took a deflection and Foster was acrobatic in his save to deny Mobe United a goal. Then Mobe, the two senior forwards, putting something together. Brian to Gordon. Gordon with the strike. It was on target, but Foster did really well to deny him there. Coming off the body of Foster and going off the crossbar. And then this moment of dismay for Mobe United. No defending there at the back post. And Javain Bryan, he needed no more of an invitation. The leader was from Blair. And the finish to the far post was sensible from Waterhouse's at number nine. His 10th of the season, and it took just 33 minutes for Waterhouse to be away. Oh, yes, Kemar, their long serving fan, enjoyed that as well. Waterhouse continued to drive forward, boost towards the back post, and this should have been 2 0. Andre Fletcher, in the form he is in, that should have been his seventh of the season, but put it wide, and it would come back eventually to haunt Waterhouse. Then this. This was the first sign of a defensive mistake. This was from Elvis Wilson and it nearly played in Brian Brown who was looking to toe past Foster who did well. Then this. The second goal from the corner. Denardo Thomas into Rivaldo Mitchell who got himself in front of William Ferreira and opened his account on the season. 2-0 to Waterhouse after 59 minutes. At that point, they thought they had three points, but Mobe, they had other ideas. This finish first from Lucas Correa, his third of the season, saved initially from Kemar Foster. We had a reasonably good game, Foster, but put it back into the business area, and Correa was there to finish with the right boot into the roof, and Foster could do nothing. That was 2-1, and that one came after the 75th minute, and you could see Mobe United growing in confidence and believing. Their fans behind them, the 12th man. And then this moment for Owain Gordon in front of his fans, as he's done so many times before. 48 in his Premier League career, second of the season for the 32-year-old. And Mobe United were all square at two, and now looking for that winner. Foster could afford a smile because he knew he could do nothing about it, beaten for the second time on the evening. And Owain Gordon just preaching to his fans. Unfortunately for Mabe, they weren't able to come up with the winner. All square after 90 minutes. The lights are bright, in sh bright are shining bright on the finish for Mabe United. Six shots on target from eight attempts. Five on target for Waterhouse. They had 14 attempts. They should have been better with their finishing at times. And they would have put this game to bed early. 26 fouls and three yellow cards shown by referee Alexi Perry, Leonardo Jimson, Shamar Booth, the guilty parties for Mobe, for Waterhouse, and of course Darnell Hospitalis for Mobe United. They had four saves in Waterhouse, and Mobe United with the majority of the possession at 55%. At the Mobe Montego Bay Sports Complex, it's all square after 90 minutes. Mobe United 2, Waterhouse 2. 
Our man of the match is with Dwight Jeremiah. I mean, it's one of those nights. I mean, with all your experience, you probably would have seen it all. But just tell me what was going through your mind coming out in the second half and having it all to do. And when the second goal went in, what were you thinking? You know, in the locker room, we already talk about it. You know, we're 2-0 down and we talk about what we can do to change the game. We talk about how much we can come out and, you know, just leave everything on the pitch. Play it like a final. It's the last game of the season. Just give it your all. That was the word in the locker room. We come out and we execute. For a moment in the commentary box, we were thinking that the way Montego Bay was playing in that first half, it was causing you to go wide too often. But when you're in the frame of the goal, you show that um, still at 32, the finish has not <laughs> left you at all. Uh, that goal you scored, that first touch was exquisite. Yeah, you know, uh, it's just the awareness. And Brian already tell me to push back post. When I push back post, the look or flick, you know, all I have to do is take the first touch, and I'm, I'm so grateful for a good first touch, you know. <laughs> then the only thing I have to do is just put it in the back of the net. The sec the, uh, there's a moment in that first half, you brought out a smart save from Foster. Must have felt that one was going into the back of the net. Yeah, most definitely. I was trying to go through his legs, but unfortunately, he pulled off a great save. But you have given some, some life and some hope for Montego Bay United, and um, all the best going forward. You have shown that with your 48 goal, a Premier League career goal here, you, you still have it. Uh, right. Thank you very much. Yeah, man.